Hi, it's Keith Peterson again from the Early T. Peterson Company in Westfield, New Jersey. This afternoon we'd like to show you a 21 inch self-propelled premium super recycler Toro. This is one of the finest mowers in this industry. Toro is the largest manufacturer in the business. They're the largest commercial manufacturer as well. And in their premium line of mower products, they make an exceptionally good machine. We sell both Honda and Toro. We're fortunate to have the two leading lines in the industry. And I tell customers routinely, those two units in their premium categories are more or less cousins. They're essentially co-equal. One of the very nice things about the Toro product line is that their volume in business is enough that they've been able to retain a cast aluminum cutting deck. The premium decks in this business for decades were cast decks. Initially they were magnesium, very light, very durable metal. Magnesium costs became such that the manufacturers switched over to cast aluminum. And then probably 20 years ago, 15, 20 years ago, aluminum costs became to the point that across the board, aluminum was eliminated in favor of the less expensive stamped steel cutting deck. Toro has retained the aluminum cutting deck in this product series. There's several advantages to that. The deck material is rigid, it doesn't flex. So whatever design characteristics are incorporated into the deck, they, they maintain, they don't change over time or in the use of the machine yeah, as it flexes. The, the um, deck material doesn't rust, a steel cutting deck rusts, and in this industry, the least expensive mowers have steel decks so thinly constructed they will rust out very, very quickly, frequently within a couple of years. Also, this makes for a beautifully balanced piece of equipment. Handling a Toro super recycler machine with the aluminum deck is a dream. The machine is so smooth and so easy to maneuver around. This is a unit with a Honda engine. We carry it with both a Honda and a Toro engine. The machine stays the same, the only difference is the engine. This is what is called a zone system. So this handle control bale is brought back into the regular handle. The machine is pulled and within a pull or two it's operating. Most of our customers today are using these machines in its mulching capability. We recommend this and Toro innovated a mulching design probably eight or nine years ago and patented it and we think they hit the nail right on the head. The reason we say that is a traditional bagging machine has a blade designed to assist in the bagging process. That blade has wings that lift up on the um, blade itself. The activity of that blade when it spins is therefore to create a draft underneath the machine. And it will suck the grass up to attention. It will cl help clean the lawn. When the blade slices through, it's a very uniform cut because the grass is being sucked up. And then the draft enables the grass to be hoisted very nicely into the bagging system. That design is only on the super recycler. We should pause and say that Toro makes an introductory line, if you will, a big box channel line, which is called a recycler. It's a completely different product. We don't stock it. Uh, we've had so many complaints with design features and construction that we stopped carrying the standard recycler line probably a decade ago. So on the super recycler, Toro retained the bagging blade design. So when the machine is used to cut the grass, the traditional cutting pattern takes place. The grass is sucked up, the lawn is cleaned, the blade slices through, it's a very uniform cut. The grass is very manicured looking. In the mulching capability, there are deflectors called kickers underneath the cutting deck. So the blade does its spin, sucks the grass up, chops the grass, tries to throw it into the bag. 
but instead of getting into the bag, the grass clipping hits a deflector which knocks it back into the blade. Blade continues its travel, picks up that cut grass and chops it again, throws it up again, it hits the next kicker. So there are a series of kickers underneath the cutting deck and when the grass is finally short enough, the clipping size, it drives past the blade into the turf. So this machine in normal grass conditions will leave the lawn absolutely groomed looking, but it's mulching the grass, and that's terrific. In that case, the bag can simply be left right off the mower. It doesn't need to be in position. The beauty of this design is that there's an insert that's used when the machine is mulching. It fits into the discharge opening, extends down into the cutting deck, and at the end of it, it has one of these primary kickers. So it helps form the, the mulching design underneath the cutting deck. When that mulching insert is removed, that whole discharge tunnel is opened up. The machine has a bagging style blade with wings. It creates the typical manicured look and it very nicely hoists the grass into the bagging system. So Toro in one fell swoop has a machine that not only mulches beautifully, but it bags beautifully as well. And then in recent years, they have added a discharge ability. The mulching plug is left into place. This bracket lifts, a side discharge chute goes on. The machine can also be used to simply cut and discharge the grass off to the side. It's important that a deck used for mulching be kept cleaner than normal. Any cutting deck should be cleaned as needed but especially with mulching. Mulching is harder to accomplish than straight bagging. So Toro now incorporates a clean out port here. If the garden hose is hooked up to that, turned on and the machine is started, the activity of the blade underneath the machine and the presence of the water acts to scrub and sluice and clean the underside of the cutting deck. Very, very nice feature. Beautifully balanced, premium wheels, premium height adjustment mechanism and uh, spring inserts, cast aluminum cutting deck. Toro has a bulletproof gear drive system on this machine. They make one of the best gear driven drive systems in the industry. We have zero problems with their drive. And they innovated some years back what is called a personal pace drive engagement system. So this engages the blade system as this is pushed forward, it's a sliding handle bail, it engages the drive. If this is pushed gently, the machine goes slowly. If this is pushed more forcefully, just as if you were pushing hard when you were walking behind a regular push mower, it will then um, move more rapidly. So the user can adjust instantly the walking pace of the machine. It's a completely ergonomic motion, works extremely well. This still allows you to maneuver and turn the machine. If you walk away, the bale goes forward, the blade stops, the engine does stop. With mulching, typically you're not stopping the blade simply because you're, you're cutting the grass, you're not stopping to empty the bag. When you're all done, you simply clean the machine, put it away in the shed. So this is a beautiful machine. If you have questions, you can contact us at 908-232-5723. You can certainly visit us on the web at www.etpetersen.com. Thank you for watching.